Hey, my friends, Happy New Year's. I want to talk today about issues of concern for 2019. I think, first off, a lot of us are thinking about the economy. Um, I know I do. You know, are we going to have a recession? Are we going to just have some market corrections? What's going on? Um, It seems like things are very volatile in the stock market, and even in the bond market right now, things are just really not... uh, Not very settled, and I think that's kind of the key word here is that globally we see a lot of upheaval, Um, we see a lot of tension, and I think that we're going to have further cuts in jobs because a lot of companies are going to try to cut um, overhead and save money, and they're going to try to get rid of labor because labor is typically one of the largest line items in a company. So I think economically, we're going to probably uh, stall a bit, you know, for 2019. So be prepared for that. What about war? Um, EMPs, nuclear wars, probably not. But I think we're going to have continued rhetoric of war or conflict between uh, various uh, nation states. Uh, Politically, I think we're going to have a bigger push more than ever for socialist ideology we already see it all the time anyways through our media. Uh, the mainstream media loves to talk about socialism and, uh, you know, open borders and, you know, just this big, happy family, you know, a global family. But are we really a global family? I, I don't think so. There's a lot of countries that hate other countries, a lot of countries that are, you know, in conflict with other countries. And uh, <laughs> to just pretend that everybody gets along, it's just ridiculous. So, yeah, we're going to see more of this push for open borders, and uh, but let's just be honest. We have to keep remembering that they have an agenda, and uh, they're very good at pushing and pushing a story uh, over and over. What about freedoms? Um, you know, I see so many times people wanting to debate if we should even have the freedom of speech. Uh, the right to bear arms here in the United States. And, you know, what I tell them is like, why would you want to be less free as a person? Why would you want to enslave yourself? Why would you want to uh, give more power to a government? You know, why wouldn't you want to have the ability to do things? You know, it's just ridiculous. Whenever you see, in my opinion, a group of people, citizens that are wanting to relinquish a lot of their freedoms, you have to question uh, what's wrong with these people. You know, morally and socially, you know, these people are literally just coming apart, you know, and they're not functioning very well if they're wanting a government to do everything for them or tell them how to do things, in particular, how to live their life. It's a very sad course of action. I want to also say now that there's a lot of people that are starting to become more aware of the solar cycles. And we are coming into a grand solar minimum. And just want to say that uh, in the next few years, we're going to just slowly and progressively get a little bit cooler as a planet. And so all this uh, global warming, global climate change, a lot of it's just bunk. You know, we're coming into a cool down period. It's a normal solar cycle. Uh, It'll last probably like 15 to 20 years and we'll come out of it. But um, it could impact some crop uh, growth in, in various parts of the world. So just be aware of that. You know, the solar cycles are real. And right now the sun is very inactive. It's in a very quiet stage. So, you know, uh, if you live in a northern area of the world, um, be prepared for this. Technology, I think, is a major threat. Uh, 5G technology in particular has been shown to be quite dangerous to humans. And yet it's being uh, rolled out in a lot of large, large cities already currently. And so I already had enough problems with 4G. Uh, I think a lot of us are addicted to our cell phones as it is. And now we're going to have 5G and all the hazards that come with that. So that's just a nightmare waiting to happen. Uh, healthcare, I mean, you don't need me to tell you what kind of ripoff uh, healthcare is right now. All kinds of inefficiencies, uh, wasting of money, you know. I think this is a major, major problem. You know, here in America, we used to have really good health care. 
Um, but I've had some personal experiences recently. They have really proved to me that a lot of these doctors and nurse practitioners don't even know what they're talking about. They don't even listen to you when you tell you when you tell them that you know your your symptoms and various problems. They, they just kind of rush through everything. A very poor level of care. What about a famine? You know, a lot of people are talking about this, you know, that there's a lot of problems growing crops. A lot of crops are now GMO. There's a lot of control over seeds. And there's a lot of problems with just providing in certain areas of the world enough food. Now, globally, we produce more food than we could consume, but sometimes getting that food to certain areas has been a bit uh, of a strategic nightmare. Uh, the same thing for diseases. There's all kinds of diseases. We're seeing a major outbreak again of Ebola in, in Central Africa. We also have various types of diseases coming through the border from South America. Uh, these convoys, if you want to call them, of immigrants trying to get into the United States. Uh, the CDC has been dealing with this for the last few weeks in particular. A lot of crazy diseases coming from the South. Uh, we also have uh, personal protection issues. A lot of people are concerned about that. It's not so much that crime is going up, but there's a lot of people doing some crazy things because they're whacked out on various type of uh, psychotropic drugs. Uh, we have a major epidemic of people on drugs for depression and anxiety, for uh, attention deficit disorders, all these things. Um, I also want to just kind of close on the note here of education. I think a lot of so-called education um, is just brainwashing, misinformation, bad information, you name it. And I think that you owe it to yourself to kind of look at the facts yourself, to find third-party information. And if you can homeschool your kids, please do so. Uh, you're going to go and do a lot more for your kids than you can imagine by doing that now. So these are my thoughts on some issues. I would love to hear if you have any issues of concern that are on your mind. I want to thank you for your ongoing support. You guys take care.